Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we need to talk about the WeCreate Vision Pro, the 45 watt model to be exact, and the fraying cable issue. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you may have seen photos like this in some of the WeCreate groups. Uh, what is occurring here is the cable is actually binding. A lot of people think it's the black edge that is sharp that's cutting it. That's not the case in my opinion. I've done a deep dive and tested everything that I could in order to figure out what the issue is. And the only thing that I can see is the two cables are rubbing together and binding. And I'm gonna show you a deep look at that here in just a second, show you exactly what's occurring and how to correct it using these two 3D parts here. Two little parts, just a little clip and a little piece of plastic here. Uh, we made the plastic a little bit flexible so it can bend with the cable too. And I'm gonna show you guys how to install that. And when I say we, uh, the member of the We Create Users group that I run, um, his name is John. You may remember him from a previous video. He created the rotary jig for the Vision and the Vista for our group, and then he gave it out for free on Maker's World. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna put this on Maker's World 2 for free. So if you have a 3D printer, you can print that. Now keep in mind that is personal use only. Do not sell this or else your shop will get shut down. I promise you it will. Uh, we had people selling the other one and it got shut down. Don't do that. Don't ruin his job or anybody who's just trying to help you out. So with that said, he's going to also give these for free to anybody who buys the rotary um, attachment that he sells as well. So if you want that, just type in the code laser deals. If you're not a member of the laser engraving deals group yet, go ahead and join that as well. Uh, that's where you're going to get that code at in the future as well. But in order for him to know that you have a 45 watt model, you're going to have to type in laser deals at the end. And I'll get into that at the end of the video too. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the machine. I'm going to show you exactly what's occurring here, um, why it's happening. And I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step of how to install this and why this thing is awesome. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, you guys, so really quick, I wanna share with you guys why this cable is fraying first so you know how to install this properly and the reason why we created it this way. So if you can see right here, this is the midway point on this cable and it's kind of lifting up already whenever the unit is all the way to the left. What is happening on some machines, since they're brand new and these cables are very rigid, Whenever you push it this way, you can see that it's lifting up just a little bit, but that's all the higher mine lifts up. Mine isn't having an issue, which allows the top of the cable to pass by right in this little metal slider here. But what some machines are doing, if I push back here, you can see it lift up even further. If it's real rigid, they get to this point and then they lock up or they grind on each other. And that's what causes that fraying to happen. So I'm going to stop there so I don't hurt my machine. But you can either try and work this back and forth and make it more flexible, and that may work for you for a little bit, but ultimately you kinda wanna do something with this, whether it's taping it down, or in our case with John and I, we created this little, um, what we call the We Create Pro Guard, um, or whatever he's gonna name it at the end here. But we went through five different versions of creating this. Now the reason why we have a guard that goes from an extra clip that we add here from there to here is on the way back, the cable sometimes can just barely skim right here on the way back. So if I go all the way across here, and then I hold this down, sometimes this cable will go down to this point and just barely skim right there and touch the other metal braided cable there. That's what we don't want to happen. Um, so we just figured we would add a guard just in case. You probably aren't gonna have an issue at all with that, but just in case we created the guard as well. So speaking of the guard, here's the guard. Um, if you can see this, you have a little tab on the end here. And all that tab does is it catches your new clip that you're gonna be putting over this and the cable so it doesn't slip off as it's engraving. The other side has the same tab and that's gonna catch the end of this second clip here. Your clips may be in a different area so you can slide it anywhere that you want in any position you want on this guard. But um, I never had an issue even without the hooks on the end. It's just something we added as a bonus here. So let me go ahead and share with you guys how to install this. You just take the 
guard itself and slide it underneath your two clips here. So just barely lift up on these two clips. I really hope you guys can see this on camera. Um, and then you just hook it with that hook on the end there, just like that. Technically, this may work by itself without this clip, this extra clip, but we just included this extra clip just to be safe. So just give it a little bit of slack so you can get in there with this clip and you push it on the cable and the guard itself until it's all the way in place. And then you can slide it all the way over onto the guard until it hooks that little hook on the end there. So now that we have it in place on the hook there, now we can just slide this over. And as you can see, that never goes higher than this distance here. Even if you don't have it taped, you can tape this down if you want to. I recommend leaving it loose so it can actually flex up and down so there's less flex flexing on the way back. But as you can see right there on the way back, it does touch every once in a while. So sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. And then by the time it gets to that last thing, it swoops up perfectly and it avoids any of the metal on metal here, which causes the fraying. So this in theory should correct everything. Um, John has created this for free. If you have a 3D printer, you can print it on Maker's World. If you um, order one of his like jigs for like rotary cups, he's gonna be including one of these for free if you don't have a 3D printer, but you have to use the code LaserDeals for him in order to track and know that you want it for free. So use the code LaserDeals at checkout um, on his page for like a rotary engraving and he'll include this for free knowing that you have the 45 watt vision and you need that guard um, with it. So he will include that for you. So if you guys have any other questions and you're not a member of our laser deals engraving group that that codes from go ahead and join down in the link with the description below. Um, other than that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.